With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that the time period of a soap bubble is T and depends upon the pressure P, density D and the surface tension S. Okay, the relation of T is. So basically, if you see, we have to use the thing of dimensional analysis. Okay, dimensional analysis. Got it. So basically, when we use dimensional analysis, what we have to do is that the time period over here, we will keep time period. Okay. And we have to keep a proportionality, okay, or you can say is equal to, okay, and the rest of the things. Let's suppose there is pressure, P, let's suppose we name pressure, okay, pressure to the power alpha, let's suppose we write, okay, and we have what density, so let's write D to the power beta, okay, and we have surface tension S to the power gamma, okay, let's suppose we name gamma. So basically, we have these. Now, what we'll do, the time period has a dimension of T. Why we are doing you through dimensional analysis? Because over here, the, when we uh, take off the dimensional constant, that means what? There will be a K over here coming, which is the proportionality constant. So basically, these are time period and P, D and S are proportional. So in what case they are proportional means in what power that we have to find. So pressure is what? Force per unit time. Force per unit, not time. Force per unit area. So it will be M, L minus 1, T minus 2. Okay. To the power alpha. Okay, and density is what? Density is mass by volume. So it is mass m l minus 3. Okay, mass by volume. So basically to the power beta and we have surface tension. Okay, so surface tension is m t minus 2. Okay, to the power gamma. So basically this is the thing. So if when you compare these all quantities, what you will get is that firstly we have to write it properly that t. Okay, and we'll keep all m's together, l together and uh, t together so m to the power alpha over here plus beta plus gamma okay and we will have l to the power minus alpha minus 3 beta and basically gamma is not there and t to the power minus 2 alpha and basically we have this uh, which is minus 2 gamma got it so basically this is the thing so what we'll have from these equations alpha plus beta plus gamma must be equal to 0 okay we'll have minus alpha minus 3 beta Okay, let me write it a little, uh, giving a space. Okay, minus alpha minus 3 beta is basically equal to 0. And also we have minus 2 alpha minus 2 gamma must be equal to 1. Okay, or you can clearly see over here what we can do. Else. Okay, what else we can do is that. Firstly, we have to separate these uh, spaces. Okay, so that you don't get confused. Let, let's suppose we are separating these two spaces. Okay, first we will solve this equation. So what we'll have from here, alpha plus gamma must be equal to minus 1 by 2. Got it? So we have alpha plus gamma. So over here, if you see, alpha plus gamma is over here. That means what we can do, alpha plus gamma over here, okay, plus beta must be equal to 0. Alpha plus gamma is what? Minus 1 by 2 plus beta must be equal to 0. That means what? Beta will come out to be half. So now we have beta. Now we'll find out alpha by putting it this in this equation. So what is alpha? Alpha will be equal to, basically this will come out to be minus 3 beta. Okay. So this will, come, alpha will come out to be minus 3 by 2. Okay. So basically this is alpha. And lastly we will find out gamma. So we have alpha now. So minus 3 by 2 plus gamma must be equal to minus 1 by 2. So if you see, gamma will come out to be just 1 by 2. Okay. So if you see uh, the final answer, if you see, it will be, T is directly proportional to basically firstly we had what we had pressure to the power alpha which is minus 3 by 2 okay and we also have what we have uh, pressure and we have density and surface tension so density D to the power beta which is half and lastly we have the surface tension to the power half again okay so this is the thing so basically our answer will be what our answer will be Clearly, basically this will also be 1 by 2. So our answer will be clearly option number B. Understood? Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.